Hey, welcome back to Carly Stevens Books. I'm Carly Stevens, and this channel is all about writing, publishing, and indie author life. Um, so today I wanted to do a coffee talk style video like I've done in the past, but this time revisiting a bucket list that I put together in November 2020. So it's been over two years now. How far did I get in those bucket list items, those authorly goals? So I'm going to go through those. Down below I'll post the original video, um, which was on my other channel, English Nerd, if you're curious, um, you can check that out. So it's, it's a uh, spoiler, I have done some of them. I, ha I can check off some of the items, but others are still yet to come. So um, the first one is, I really wanted to get my books into audio. The first one is audiobooks, definitely because I love audiobooks and I just, it, it was this massive dream of mine. And even in that previous video, I didn't think I would be able to um, do the entire Tenuant Academy series because it is so long. It's about 45 hours uh, if you listen to all three front to back. But I did it <laughs> and um, it was a pretty intense investment financially, but gosh, do I love those audiobooks, and so I can happily check that off the list. Yes, I have some of my books in audio, and I have others um, kind of brewing in the works. Um, the next item on the original bucket list video is to have a fandom. I want there to eventually be like a fandom around the world of the Tanyuan Academy, like you see with, you know, the Grishaverse and things like that. And I wouldn't say that that has, I wouldn't say that I could check that one off. The fandom for Tenuin Academy series, yeah, I don't know that I would even call them a fandom, but fans exist. <laughs> um, it's just, it's not one of those uh, popular series or, or anything at the moment. That might change. I would love to see that change, but that one is not really something that's happened. Number three was to get 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Now you might be looking at this channel going, man, you really didn't get anywhere. Um, this is the channel that branched off of the original just recently. So my original channel, once again, um, English Nerd, which had both academic videos and fiction writing videos. So that's why I decided to separate them out. Um, that currently, as I'm writing this, or as I'm, as I'm writing this, <laughs> listen to me, um, as I'm recording this, has about 8,400 um, subscribers, and then, of course, about 50 or so on this little new baby channel <laughs> at the moment. So definitely subscribe. If you're interested in this kind of thing, um, there's a lot of helpful info and, and interesting stuff on these, on these channels, so check them out, subscribe. So I'm close, is is my point. Um, I'm, what, 1,600 subscribers away from hitting that mark that I wanted to um, before. Number four was to get 50 Amazon reviews on one book. And uh, I currently have the closest I've come to this, and no, I haven't quite gone over. Um, but the closest I've come to this is 46 ratings on Amazon for Fury and Rising. So that is, that's as close as I've, as I've gotten. <laughs> so if you've read Fury and Rising and you have thoughts, then definitely go and, uh, <laughs> and rate or review those. Uh, it really does help out indie authors like us. I try to, I try to remember to do that. I usually don't rate and review on Amazon, but I do on Goodreads. So, you know, as long as you're kind of interacting somewhere, then it's helpful for, for writers, um, especially indies like, like me. Number five was to complete a series, to publish a series. Voila, there it is. Um, and these aren't even the beautiful hardcovers. Um, the hardcovers are just drool worthy, but here's the whole thing. One, two, three, um, the entire series. And I'm just so happy with the way that it turned out. Um, not only do I have this, but I also have a book of short stories related to it. So that one I can emphatically check off. 
it's daunting to start a series, especially of books this long. The books that I've written more recently have been shorter and therefore more manageable feeling. But um, yeah, I'm really proud of proud of myself for finishing that off. So check. Um, number six on the original video was making $15 a day in book sales. And I just kind of crunched the numbers and took a look at what I'm doing currently. And it's just north of $10 a day that I'm that I'm making now. It's it's getting closer. It's it's close to $15 a day, but it's not not quite there. So I'm going to push the goal post out for kind of my revised bucket list and say I want to make $30 a day in book sales. And I think that that's definitely possible. It might take a second, but I I'm pretty confident that I can get there um at least over time. I just don't want it to be that much time. <laughs> I'm going to try to make that happen by the end of the year. That would be tremendous. Um, number seven on the author bucket list original video was to sell 5,000 copies of my books. Um, so again, I went back, I crunched the numbers, I took a look at um, what what I have. Now it's it's just devilishly hard to figure out <laughs> um, how many books you've sold, how many books have been read, that kind of thing. Um, but I have done my best. So this is not counting Amazon page reads. So I have, um, I, I write under more than just my own name, um, which I talked about in last week's video. I believe, but um, some of those books are in KU, Kindle Unlimited. So page reads uh, are the way that you get paid for Kindle Unlimited stuff. So I have, uh, what is it, 30,000 page reads or something? It's probably it's in that neighborhood. So I'm not counting those because, you know, there's just, there's just more to figure out there. So there is change on top of this number, but... Um, to date, it is about 2,200 books. Um, when I made the video, I said that it was about 500 that I had sold. So, you know, not, not too bad. Um, quadrupling, more than quadrupling in, in two, two years, a little over two years. Um, still not where I want to be. It's not 5,000 copies yet. Um, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm over 2,000 copies now um, sold, so there we go. Uh, number eight was to, to write my Hamlet retelling. I have not forgotten. It is still on my bucket list. I want to write Hamlet from Laertes' point of view, and I did that. i had been planning to write this forever. I mentioned it in the first interview I ever did on my previous channel um it had to be 2018 something like that um and finally last july laertes came out um so i did grab the beautiful hardcover for this one it's kind of hard to see but there's there's kind of a 20s print back there it's so nice so i can check that one off too so the the most important goals finish this series, write this other book. I've, I've done those, right? And then um, the final one, uh, number nine, was to find my book in a bookstore that I wasn't expecting to see. And that has happened. So um, I think I, I don't, I don't, actually, I don't think I made a video about that, but, uh, but I mentioned it. I mentioned it in my interview with Jake Ruddle, um, the first interview that I did for this channel, um, how I stumbled upon Laertes in Barnes & Noble on one of the featured tables when I wasn't anticipating it. Um, I was going to be doing a signing later on uh, in, in a couple weeks or something, but I didn't expect to see it featured there. It was just so exciting. So to sum up, 
Of the nine bucket list items from the original video, I have definitely completed four of them. I've gotten very close to three of them, and I'm making my way, but I really have not done two. So as far as as far as it goes, it definitely could be worse. <laughs> I, th I think it's good to, s to pause and think about the wins that you've had. Um, there is just so much to do and so much that you always feel like you need to be doing, especially as an indie author, that it's good to remember the wins and the things that you have accomplished because, you know, you've accomplished a lot, um, regardless of, of whether it feels like that or not. So in my revised bucket list, I wanted to add a couple items on just to push the goalposts out further and have something more to strive for. Um, there are definitely more more things in this that I could list, but since this is kind of a, a less formal video, uh, I figured I would just add like four. So one, I mentioned already, um, earn $30 a day in book sales. I've had days where I've earned $30 but uh, or more, but um, let's make that a daily thing. That would be fantastic. Awesome. Um, number two, I want to complete another series in the world of the Tanyuan Academy series, and I want the first book to come out this year. I have been quite um, distracted with other writing projects. I mentioned I write under more than, more than uh, my name, so I want a book that is under my name, Carly Stevens, to come out this year, but uh, the other the other side of my author business has just been taking up a huge portion of my time. So um, yeah, my goal is definitely starting another series in that world this year. So I'll give you more information about that once I have a better timetable idea. Um, it, originally I was thinking this summer would be great, but now as we get closer to this summer, that's looking less and less likely unless I go into turbocharge mode, which does happen. Um, sometimes, sometimes I do go into turbocharge mode. Uh, I, I, I won NaNoWriMo last, <laughs> last, uh, time for the first time. So, you know, it happens. We'll see. Uh, number three, I want Laertes to be an audiobook. And this one is, it is a bucket list item for sure, but it's definitely, uh, a, an attainable one. I already have, um, a narrator in mind. I bet you can probably guess um, who it is. And so, um, that is something that I definitely want to see is, is this book so that we can listen and cry together. That would be great. Um, and then finally, number four, I would love to stumble upon a book talker or a YouTuber who is gushing about one of my books. Um, there's something that just matters so much to me when when people connect with my books so much that they actually want to share it with other people or they want to create art or they want to reach out to me or I, I mean I can't tell you how much that matters to me I if it, it it's it's everything <laughs> so um yeah I would love to be just scrolling through TikTok and all of a sudden somebody is talking about how Laertes is their new favorite book or something that would be that would be it. That would be it. So yeah, I hope you I hope you liked this video. I think if you're a writer, it's a great idea to have a bucket list. Like, will you get through all of those items? Like when you created a bucket list um, as a kid, if you if you did that, maybe not. But if you don't dream, if you don't reach far out, then you know, you you won't accomplish as much you know, shoot for the moon and hopefully you'll get there. So in the comments, please tell me what are some of your author, writer, bucket list items, whether it's finishing your first novel or it's making six figures or whatever, whatever it may be. All right. And that's all. I will see you next time. Uh, and yes, next time I'm looking at the account. I have a wall calendar cause I'm, uh, I'm 80 years old, but, um, yeah, next time 
it is going to, I'm going to have a very special guest, so make sure to return for um, some great, great information with a brand new interview. Until then. <laughs>